So, a thing to remember about these outside corners, uh, or really any corner, is when you're installing these, uh, you want to make sure that you're absolutely plumb and level. Uh, if you're not plumb and level, uh, you're going to run into problems, the tile's going to run off, and it's not going to look good. So, just make sure uh, that if you, you know, do a candle in a... Um, uh, a corner like this you want to stay absolutely plumb and absolutely level and uh, if you do that uh, all the pieces should just fall into place so um, this is where I'm at with this bathroom I got the sill installed I have this corner um, up to here, uh, a couple of shells, one, two, and uh, uh, you know, get to cut a hole there, you know, go around that. They're nice to keep those nice and neat, and it's nice and neat over at this corner here. So, you know, you just want to uh, make sure that everything is nice and clean and you keep nice, even lines everywhere. So, that's where I'm at with this bathroom so far. So, uh, here are the shelves um, in the corner. This is what it, what it should look like. Um, cut around those shelves. And those sh shelves are slightly tilted into the, um, into the shower. You don't want them flat or tilting back towards the wall. You want them tilting slightly into the shower. Anyone that's interested, uh, I have a video uh, on my YouTube channel that shows exactly the process of uh, how to drill a hole through tile uh, like the one you see here. So it's actually, I actually have a video showing how to um, make this hole. So if you're interested, go check it out. So um, the way I usually tackle these shower floors is I like to... Um, the floor in and then put the last tile on top of the shelf floor with the glass uh, as I mentioned earlier I couldn't do that because I wanted to have a nice uh, gap at the bottom uh, but for the marble I can do that and um, the reason one of the reasons I do that is because it just makes it easier uh, for the cuts on the um, on the shelf floor uh, you don't have to be as exact, you know, you know, it's just easier and then you just put the tile on top and all your cuts uh, You know, you wall tile on top and all your cuts get covered. So that's how I like to That's one of the reasons why I like to do it that way um, Not so much for the water because I waterproof everything so um, That's not really the reason why uh, I would do that so uh, First thing you got to do is obviously lay it out and see what uh, your pieces are going to be everywhere. And uh, I like to, you know, if the floor isn't too big, I like to just dry, dry lay everything, have all my cuts done, and um, just have it all cut in, and then pick it up uh, a little bit at a time and cement it down. Um, I just find it easier for me to do it this way. Uh, you can tackle it any way you want. Uh, but this is how I do it. So right now I'm just uh, checking to make sure um, that I got everything lined up and that I'm square and you know everything is just right. And I'm gonna just dryly 
and cut in this whole floor. Once you have it all cut in, uh, it's time to cement it down. Now I got everything cut in, all the drain pieces and everything. So um, I'm going to pick up the back row and I'm going to leave all the rest of it. Uh, I'm just going to pick up the back row and uh, cement it down. That way the tile that's still down, uh, which is dry laid, is my reference uh, as to where to put the uh, tile that I'm laying right now. And then when I have that last row down, I can pick up the rest of it, and that the row that I just laid now would be my reference as to where to place uh, the rest of the tile. So uh, this is uh, these mosaic tiles of um, Carrera marble. Uh, they're three eighths inch thick, so uh, I am using a quarter inch square notch trowel. Uh, the reason I can use uh, a trowel like that is because they're deep, so when you press it in. They won't be uh, the thins that won't squeeze up and over the um, face of the tile uh, because they're pretty thick. Now that I had that row cemented down, I'm going to pick up the rest of them. But one thing I'm going to do here, so that it's, um, because there's a lot of pieces around that train, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up those pieces and place them on a piece of cardboard, or if you don't have a piece of cardboard, just put them somewhere uh, where they won't get mixed up. And, and you want to put them in the same order uh, that you pick them up uh, off the drain. So that way when you have to go put them back, and you're not going to be guessing as to which piece goes away. They, you just, uh, you know, you pick them up and uh, put them in the same place as uh, you have them laid out. Uh, if they get mixed up, well, then you're just going to have to, um, you know, figure out where they go. And sometimes a lot of these tiles uh, look uh, like they're exactly the same, but uh, they're not quite the same. And uh, so it's just a good idea to do this. And then uh, we pick up the rest and cement the rest down. One that might be interested, uh, I have uh, a few vid videos that explain the whole process uh, of what I'm doing here. Uh, so if you like, you can go check them out um, on my YouTube channel. And uh, always remember, you know, um, uh, subscribe and uh, that'd be great.
leave a comment that'd be great too So uh, now uh, it's on to the ceiling and a lot of people uh, afraid to do tile on the ceiling and there really is no reason to be uh, afraid I've done can't remember how many I've done of these and this is the same marble tile that I put on the walls tile is heavy marble tile is heavy anyone that's installed it knows that marble tile is heavy and I'm not using any kind of special adhesive. I am just using the same thin set I used on the walls. It's uh, actually Ultraflex 2 uh, White Power Modified Thin Set. The only thing uh, that I do a little bit different is I mix it a little bit stiffer and I make sure that I get absolutely good coverage on uh, the back of the tile and make sure there's a continuous rim of thin set all the way around the perimeter of the tile and uh, and just make sure you really push it in good into the um, into the ceiling and it'll stay there um, been installing tile for 30 years done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of ceilings and uh, only twice in 30 years have I have, have I have had a tile fall and um, so it can happen and it fell while I was setting it not you know afterwards uh, but so it can happen but uh, really is not a problem if you um, just take your time and um, you know make sure that you got really good coverage uh, on the That's the ceiling. Uh, no special thin set. Uh, just uh, regular polymer modified thin set. And uh, this is the uh, other part of the uh, horizontal surface on the ceiling. So that's it. Uh, the tub part. Uh, I did already did the deck same way as I did the rest of the um, the tile. Uh, now this uh, corner you know you just want to make sure everything's nice and even and plumb and square etc 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 and um, I made sure that I covered the shelf floor very well because um, it's marble it's soft and it can scratch so um, just continue on tiling uh, like you would do the rest of the shell
This piece I'm placing here is an outside corner, and what that means it's got a bull nose on two sides uh, for the corner. That's uh, that's the deck. Um, just got one row on the bottom, but I'm not gonna do that till you know this floor gets ripped out and the um, and the floor tile goes down. The um, floor is down, as luck would have it. Uh, battery died in the camera. I forgot to charge it. So anyway, just I've got a ton of videos showing how to install uh, floor tile. Uh, on my channel so and you can take a look at those if you want um, so oh. I'm using uh, two different color grouts here the um, grout on the glass tile is gray and the grout on the uh, marble is white so uh, I had to grout the glass tile and let it completely dry before I hit grout uh, the uh, marble tile because if you try and grout them on the same day what happens is um, as you get the um, grout onto the um, onto the other uh, color and then they might blend so uh, and because the uh, gray can stain the marble uh, I taped off all the edges where the um, glass meets the uh, marble and with some you know painters tape just to make sure that I didn't um, ruin the uh, you know the the marble I just installed and also I made sure that uh, I sealed all the um, marble uh, completely uh, before I grouted it so uh, it doesn't matter if it's polished or if it's honed or whatever you still need to uh, seal uh, your marble if it's a porous stone it needs to be sealed uh, regardless of the finish of, of it so um, and then uh, I'm going to be caulking all the corners and changes of plane and where uh, tile meets a dissimilar material uh, okay so uh, now because these are very narrow grout lines they're uh, sixteenth of an inch both on the glass and on the marble uh, I used an unsanded grout and especially on the grout on the glass and polished marble you want to use unsanded grout because uh, the sand if you use sand it uh, it can uh, scratch your tile so you know before you uh, grout your materials or whatever it is that you um, grouting just make sure that you're using the right kind uh, of grout uh, for uh, your uh, your tile because you don't want to go ahead and damage uh, something you just finished installing so just something uh, to keep in mind and uh, uh, like I said this is uh, all unsanded uh, white grout on the marble and it was a gray grout on the glass tile. Um, the uh, whole bathroom is grouted and uh, well the shower and the tub deck is grouted and uh, cleaned up uh, the last row of tile is missing there because uh, we ran short of tile uh, I did not figure the quantity of tile so uh, uh, but it's not a problem because it's a stock item and um, 
Actually, good a good thing because uh, the grout on the, um, the floor is sanded and it's really dark, so uh, turn, turned out to be all right. The uh, uh, floor tile has a grout line which is uh, three sixteenths of an inch, so I am using a sanded grout. Uh, the cutoff is uh, for sanded and unsanded is an eighth of an inch. Uh, eighth of an inch you can use either or. Um, but uh, if it's an eighth of an inch, I usually like uh, sanded uh, because it just fills the joint better. So anyway, uh, this is a very dark route, and uh, so you've got to be careful with it because uh, it tends to get everything on everything and get everything dirty. So uh, sanded uh, route on the floor. Um, I have a couple of uh, videos uh, explaining how uh, to, to, you know, to, to grout. So um, I'm not going to go over it here. This video is actually pretty long now. So, um, you know, as I've said uh, earlier as well, uh, you know, I've got a lot of other videos explaining a lot of details about uh, how to do a lot of things. So. Um, Basically, uh, you just want to uh, take your time when grouting anyway. So, um, this is the last thing I'm doing here. Uh, grouting the floor and then putting that last row of tile in. So, um, this is the uh, finished product. And if you um, just hang on a little bit more, at the very end here, I uh, have it have the whole bathroom with the glass door in and all the fixtures and, and everything. So, but this is um, and the reason I have that is because I came back to do another little floor in another bathroom, and uh, they were able to completely finish it. Here we are. Uh, this bathroom now has been in service for um, two or three months and I came back to do um, another little bathroom floor uh, for these people and um, so I shot this little video of the completed uh, bathroom. <laughs>